Bob, thank you so much for taking the time to allow us to come to focus on the family and interview you. Uh, let's begin with the Plugged In Movie Review. How did you get involved with the Plugged In Movie Review? Well, I was uh, hired in roughly the mid-90s after a transition. Uh, our founder, his name was Bob DeMoss, uh, had left to go on to other pastures. And, uh, and, and so it is going on now 24 years for me. I'm thinking I might even make it a career. You know, I, I need to just share this with you. You, you don't know this. Okay. But Bob has been on my things to do list in my office at Moody Radio uh, in Florida for like a year. And I, you know, every day I look at my things to do list and I say, one day I'm going to call Bob. Usually we do things with, with what's called an ISDN line, which makes him sound like he's in the studio, but he's really in Colorado and we're in Florida. But here we have the opportunity to be in Colorado with them, and this is uh, exciting. Now it's going great. So let's uh, dig a little bit behind the scenes. Okay. I mean, I once had a call that said, uh, this is when we first started airing the Plugged In Movie Review, and this uh, lady said, well, she thought you worked right there uh -huh. at, at the station. She says, that poor man, uh, how come you make him sit through and watch all these movies? <laughs> you know, <laughs> And I'm sure you've gotten that before. Well, she's got a good point, because yeah. I say, uh, last year I saw 130 36 films. I keep track of them all. So far, I just saw last night my 55th for this calendar year. Roughly in the 130s, 140s, 150s. She's right. 85%, maybe 75 to 85% of the films I'm not crazy about. Um, so she has a good point. And there's only 15 to 25% of the films that either get a, a solid thumbs up for me or a kind of a thumbs up, which is Hollywood. But that is why we exist. Because without... Um, a neutral party, if you will, to go in and say, here's what's in the film. What you're left with is the MPAA ratings. So you have to say, well, it's a PG-13. Hey, I'm a 50-year-old man. Of course I, you know, I'm a 14-year-old boy. Of course I should, you know. Well, and that's so non-true. You, So much of what is called PG-13 today would have been R-rated just seven or eight years ago. We've had this continual morphing and, uh, and creeping, the ratings creep, and, uh, and so people need a source that they can trust, and Plugged In has, been, has become that, and we thank God for using us in that fashion. Amen. We are with Bob Wolachewski with Focus on the Family right here in Colorado Springs. And we're, of course, talking about how he got started in the Plugged In Movie Review and uh, what he... And let's talk about... You mentioned that uh, you've seen a lot of movies. Walk us through a movie. Let's say that uh, you're getting ready to watch the movie. Is there any preparation? And then when the movie begins, what is it that you do? Do you take notes or what, what takes place? Yeah, definitely take notes. Um, but unlike secular movie critics who are there to talk about the acting and the special effects and does it really like look like the $200 million that was budgeted this film actually happened, that's not our purpose. Not to say we don't consider that aspect important or those aspects important. We do, but those are so secondary for us. For us, it's all about the message. What is the vision of this film? What is it preaching to the people that see it? And how are the messages going to be received? As such, uh, myself and my colleagues, uh, we all have our own different systems, but I go in with a notepad and I have a little light and, and uh, I'm back there writing notes and, and writing down the good, the bad, and the ugly in, mm -hmm. in certain films. And, uh, but primarily because I'm more of the radio voice for Plugged In, I'm thinking more, how can I share when a radio station calls up and says, hey, Bob, uh, Love and Mercy is out and it's playing our local theater. What, what did you see? Did it, was this portrayal of Brian Wilson, was it accurate? Or if it's the Avenger film or if it's, you know, whatever the film may be, how does it stack up for families? I want to be able to say, I've seen it. I know. Here's how it stacks up or doesn't stack up. And you have some ways that you can help families. I understand that there is an app out there that uh, if somebody has a question about a movie, I, I, I shouldn't say that I understand it because we've actually used My wife, Maida, has used it before. Tell us about that if somebody's not familiar with it. Yeah, app. well, thanks for that question. Both for iPhone and Android, uh, we have our reviews on this app. We like to say it's movie reviews in the palm of your hand. So here's the scenario. Let's say you went online, you're an online user of PluggedIn.com, and you checked out 
out a film ahead of time and you're like, it seems family friendly. I read the review. It looks like it's going to be a Christ honoring choice. I'm going to go. We're going to take the family. You load the minivan. You're there. But you get there and it's sold out, sold out, sold out. And it's like, well, the only showing that we have yet is at like 1030 tonight. Honey, we're not going to make it at 1030. That puts us home at two in the morning. So forget that. And you're looking to say, yeah, but we got the kids here. What else? Well, you're at the movie theater. You don't have chance, but you can just go to your iPhone or Android phone, and in this case, and pull it up at the the movie reviews in the palm of your hand. Let's just talk briefly about uh, the impact that the movie industry has on society. I believe it's more than what we think. Well, absolutely. Uh, The Rand Corporation in 2004 and 2006 did studies where they found out that, surprise, surprise, that sexualized music, the kids, the teenagers that listened to that were almost twice as apt to act out in sexual ways as their peers who didn't uh, listen to a lot. Then they went with television, found the same correlation. There's been studies about uh, uh, now movies as well from things like online or big screen smoking uh, causes people to take up smoking at earlier ages. Well, is it, but it's so common sense. Um, but we live in a culture where freedom of to do whatever you want and to go whatever seems to be trumped above the thinking about the impact. And I want to say, but wait a minute, if we're raising kids and we want them to be thriving, mature adults with a strong faith why would we not set healthy boundaries in our home when it comes to the media, when it's so influential, when even the research says it's influential, then why wouldn't we want to say, this is a teacher to my kids. I want to make sure that they're being taught well and, uh, and soundly. Well, I'm Ron Maxwell, and we have the privilege to be here at Focus on the Family with Bob Wolacheski with the Plugged In Movie Review. And Bob, why do you do what you do? Well, you know, we, we probably have most of the people that come to us come because of movie reviews. And if they were to answer it, they would say, well, they want to give a Christian worldview perspective on film. But that's, that's just a little bit of it. Ultimately, the bigger picture, the 32,000 foot flyover picture is we believe strongly that the God of the universe cares about what we watch and what we listen to, the games we play, the internet sites that we surf, etc., and that we need to honor him with our choices. And if we, we like to think that Plugged In is one of the few places in Christendom that is waving that flag on a regular basis and saying, hey, Jesus cares. You know, he really does. You, you, you want to sit down and watch television? Is it a program that's honoring to him? Game of Thrones is not honoring to him. You know, you want to watch a movie that's honoring to him? Hey, Fifty Shades of Grey is not honoring to him, you know, uh, and, and that he has an opinion. I've been doing this long enough to realize that the body of Christ is all over the map when it comes to their choices. We have some that are very Christ honoring and they take this area very seriously. And I can stand up and would give them a stand ovation and applaud those folks. But we also have many that really don't think about it. And I know that because I was a believer who was one of those back in my early days myself. When I became a Christian, Christ got a hold of my life in a lot of ways. But in the area of my entertainment choices, it took a long time for me to come around. I would say, "Oh, I'm strong enough. It doesn't. It doesn't get. It. It may affect everybody else, but it doesn't affect me. I'm a. I'm. I'm growing believer and whatever. Not realizing what that it did affect me. So we're we're mainly about just helping the body of Christ wake up, smell the coffee when it comes to uh, honoring Christ with our entertainment choices. But to get there, we know people come to get our reviews. So we'll let our reviews be the the, uh, the bait, if you will, and hopefully the takeaway is step by step by step, a more discerning heart. All right, Bob Walachewski, and of course you hear the Plugged In Movie Review on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesday being the broadcast that you hear about what's coming out on DVD, and on Thursdays you hear about what's coming out on the movies, which we normally begin on Friday over the weekend. Bob, it's been my privilege to be here to interview you. Thank you so much. Uh, your program, your report is a favorite of mine in the morning program, and I know you impact the lives of so many. Thank you so much for taking this opportunity, uh, for us to take this opportunity to join you. 
Well, Ron, thank you, too. I just appreciate being able to have an opportunity to, to speak into your listenership.